Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. My name is Cheryl and I love decorating with style on a budget and I love to try to make my home look a lot more expensive than it really is. And in today's video, we are going to be doing just that. So we are going to be using some spray paint to do some DIYs. So if you're interested in seeing how they turn out, make sure you just keep watching. All right, since these were so cheap and on clearance <clears throat> at Z Gallery, I'm gonna try to make these work. So I am going to tape these off and I'm gonna spray paint the base and see that. different color because again do not like the green and I believe I'm also going to try to paint over this fake gold they have on here such really poor quality. Cannot believe it.
guys know I normally love green, <clears throat> but not green marble. Nope, 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 I am not a fan. All right, so we have them all prepped. Now we're gonna give them a good coat of spray paint. Alright, so I have these pieces that I picked up earlier this year. These are from the Dollar Tree. This one was $4, or not the Dollar Tree, but the Dollar General. This one was $6, so $10. I love the shape. They reminded me of ones I had originally seen, I want to say at Target, um, but a lot cheaper. And I showed you guys earlier some candlesticks that I wanted to pick up from Kirkland's and sadly they were a clearance item that is no longer available online and I cannot find them at my local store so I'm bummed about that but what I decided to do is take these so I painted these black but I'm going to take these off and spray paint the bottoms a bronzy gold color to give us a similar look to the ones that I wanted to pick up to DIY to look like these, and I'll put up a photo here, that I saw that are like around $300. So a little smaller in scale, but I think it's gonna give us that same luxe look for less. So I'm just gonna take our green painter's tape and just tape off the bottom and hopefully it won't pull off and cut this down the middle. Cut this in half since this is a wider painter's tape. going to be tricky to keep a straight edge. Very, very tricky. All right, so I'm going to tape off this top part because we're going to keep it black. Try to make this as even as I can all the way around.
and then we're gonna give them a quick coat of spray paint. So this is the spray paint I am currently in love with and it's the Rust-Oleum Brilliant Coat Metallic Finish. It dries really quickly or dries really quickly. So we're just gonna give this a quick coat and then I'll come back and show you how it looks. How our vase is looking so far. I love the color. So now we're going to pull off the tape and see how it looks underneath. And it did pull off a little bit of the paint that you can see that we'll need to do a touch up. But so far, I really like it and I think it looks very similar to our inspiration piece. And it cost us a whole lot less and you know, we're all about creating that luxe look for less. That is what my channel is all about. So if you are enjoying today's video so far and you have not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell. Become a member of the iStyle, my style family. I do lots of budget-friendly home decorating. And if that is something you're into, then this is the channel for you. So I'm just pulling off our painter's tape. Again, a little bit of the wet black paint came off, but I absolutely love the look. So this is my piece. I'll put it here and then we'll put our inspiration photo here. And you can see we have achieved that Lux look for less. So I will be using these candle holders to decorate around my home. Just have to give the black a little touch up and I think we're well on our way. So now let's look at our next piece that we DIY'd. Okay, so let's take off the plastic and see how our DIY has come along on the camera holders from D Gallery. You guys know they came and were not up to Z Gallery quality. So I tried to do a little DIY on them to get them up to where I could use them because I did like them even though the quality was bad. This one has a little gold spray paint that got on it so we'll have to touch that up and this one looks okay it's got a little bit of residue on it wipe that off but so this is how our candles candle holders are looking from Z Gallery I did paint the base black and spray painted this with that spray paint that we picked up from Walmart. It's a warm brassy gold, so I do love how it came out. So that's how this is looking. Now I need to figure out where I'm gonna style these in my home. Mm -hmm. All right, so I have this canister that I picked up from Target. It's an empty canister, and I thought it would be perfect to do a DIY 
candle out of and it's from Threshold with Studio McGee and it has this cute little top. So I thought what I would do is come over here and we have these candles. These came from the Dollar General. One is from a DIY a few years ago when I was into Ray Dunn and I was doing a Ray Dunn DIY. So we're gonna take these two candles and we're going to melt them down in this water and we're going to make our own candle. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna bring this water up to a boil, or not a boil, but just a warm, low simmer. And we're going to melt these candles and turn them into our own gorgeous brass candle to use for fall. So let's get this melted and then we'll go on to the next step. All right, guys, so as you can see, our candle wax has melted. So now we can take it off the stove and pour it into our canister. All right, so I'm gonna be really careful. And we need to try to fish out our wicks if we can. first wick and I am just going to take the wick and stick it down here in the center and let this, you can see that in there, I'm going to let that, if you can see it has cooled down and it will hold itself in place and we're going to do the same with the other wick. So we are going to make this a two wick candle. We'll stick this one. And this actually came out. I don't know if I can stick this back in here. looking and then we're just going to take our little silicone glove that we picked up also from the Dollar Tree being really careful so we don't burn ourselves I can tilt you down so you can see this and I'm just going to pour the wax in one and here's the other one like so now I'm also going to take I have a pencil around here somewhere Take the pencil and make sure our wick stays in place. Oops, moving around. I'm gonna let this cool down a little bit until like kind of solidified. But I think what I'm gonna do is add some scent. So let me run and get that really quick. All right, so I have this aromatherapy. This is the only one I could find really quickly. It's Mountain Rain. It smells really, really good. So I'm just gonna put a few drops in this wax. And 
if I have any left. There we go. Now we're just, who smells so good. So now we're just gonna let this cool a little and then I'll come back and show you the finished look. All right, so it's gonna take a while for our candle to cool down, but it'll look so cute once it is done. So I won't be able to finish this today, but stay tuned. You do not want to miss where I will use all of the items that we DIY today and decorate in my home. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And as you can see, our candle is starting to cool down. And as you can see, here is the brassy color of the spray paint. And look, it is a perfect brassy tone to the brass color of our candle or the candle we're making and the brass canister that we picked up from Target that is part of the Studio McGee line. So this is the perfect color. Make sure you run to your nearest Walmart or Target. So here are the Z Gallery candle holders styled here in my entryway. This is one look, one way I could use them. Um, just a very simple setup and I can add some black candles in here. So, so pretty. And even though I got these from Z Gallery and they were not up to Z Gallery or my standards for Z Gallery or Z Gallery quality, I think our little DIY upcycle has turned them into something that I can really enjoy. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of our DIY makeover of our Z Gallery candle holders. I absolutely love them and I hope you do as well. And if this video has inspired you, please give the video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you are not yet a part of the iStyle MyStyle family, I would so love it if you would hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell, become a member of the family because I would love to have you. So I hope you have enjoyed these three DIYs using spray paint. Spray paint is a girl's best friend, especially this spray paint. So if you haven't already, run out to your nearest Walmart, Target, Wherever you buy your spray paint, pick this one up because you will not regret it. You will absolutely love it. So that's all I have for you today, my friends. I hope you have an awesome day and I hope to see you in the next one.